If you've ever wondered about Japanese toilets, you're in the right place. This is Inside Japan. There are generally three types of toilets in Japan. Western style, squat toilets and urinals. Western style toilets are the most common in Japan. Restrooms in Japan have outlets where the toilet can be plugged in. The toilet seat is where most of the magic happens. These toilet seats are essentially advanced seat warmers, which are usually referred to as washlets. There is a panel next to the seat where the user can control many of the functions. The most basic function is the ability to control the temperature of the seat. This is because there is no other source of heat in most restrooms. Washlets give the user the option to rinse his or her backside with a stream of water. The water will flow until the stop button is pressed. There is another option specifically for women. Sometimes an option is available to drown out unpleasant sounds by playing soft music, ocean sounds or flushing music. Some of the most advanced washlets also have air dry features, automatic flushing and automatically closing lids. By combining all these advanced features, the user can have a hands-free experience and will never have to learn how to use the three seashells in the near future. When it comes to squat toilets, these are not as common. These are found in older public facilities. To use these, the person will have to pull their pants down to their ankles and squat down while facing the upraised porcelain. While this may take a bit of getting used to, there is evidence that this is easier on your body. Visitors are often pleasantly surprised by privacy that high stall doors offer in Japan. Urinals occasionally have bars at the side. These bars are to aid elderly or handicapped people use the urinals. They are not supposed to be used for working out while urinating. Also, when washing your hands, please keep in mind that some restrooms have neither paper towels nor hand dryers, so having a hand towel can be very handy. If you have any questions about Japan or anything in this video, feel free to ask in the comment section or contact us on Twitter at InsideJapanInfo. This was Inside Japan and thank you for watching.